Hey everyone, welcome to Tablescapes with me, Sarah Gunn. I believe every table is a thoughtful, beautiful piece of art. Today's art is a floral, but not formal tablescape to entertain your family and friends in shades of happy, bright citrus colors with a little bit of blue because that's just who I am. But before I begin, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and share once you've watched the video. Today's tablescape inspiration, a chic plated dinner. It's, 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 it's a big one, so it's. <laughs> <laughs> All this is going in the episode, by the way. It's none of it's recording, is it? You're not recording right now. He is. Oh, are you? He awesome. Is. <laughs> to style this look, I'm starting with this beautiful striped tablecloth. How do you know if your tablecloth's the right size for your table? Measure the table's length by the width and add an extra 20 inches to each side. That way you'll have a 10 inch overhang all around your table. You wanna make sure that your tablecloth is centered on your table before you set it, because otherwise you're gonna to have to take everything off and that's no fun. Mix and match like a designer. For this table, we're gonna start with the place settings. A lot of people think that you can't mix a tablecloth and placemats, but I disagree, especially when it's an opportunity to add texture like these jute placemats. I also love to mix and match patterns like these beautiful vintage inspired floral plates paired with the stripes on the table. It works because they're in a similar color palette. It's also okay to mix styles. These white salad plates have really modern lines, but they work really, really well with the vintage dinner plate. Now add the finishing details like these sweet stemmed glassware with the striped detail. And fabric napkins and gold flatware. Time to DIY a colorful centerpiece. What kind of centerpiece? Colorful! <laughs> <laughs> I think every table should have some flowers on it. So for this one, I thought it would be really fun to create a runner down the center of the table using flowers. You could use real ones for this, but it can get really expensive and it doesn't last very long. So I'm gonna go with faux. I like to do this after the table's already set so the flowers don't compete with the place settings. What you'll need is greenery, large flowers, medium flowers, small flowers, and citrus. Start first with greenery and keep it simple like these really pretty soft eucalyptus branches. Start with your largest flowers and scatter them down the table. Choose high quality blooms like this where you can bend the wire inside of each flower to give your centerpiece some height. It's a good idea to trim your stems, or if you can, you could pull the blooms right off of the stems and place them in the table like this. Then you're gonna to wanna to add your smaller blooms, again, scattering them down the table. Tuck these little ones into any empty spaces you see along the table. And for another pop of color, add some sliced and fresh citrus down the center of the table too. You wanna make sure that you're balancing the colors and shapes so that it looks beautiful from both sides of the table. Everyone loves a personal touch. To personalize each place setting, I place these coupe glasses in the center of the plate. I've had these forever and I do really love finding new uses for things around the house. I then sliced the grapefruit in half, placed it inside, grabbed some faux leaves and added everybody's name with these vinyl stickers. Tuck it in next to the grapefruit and everyone has a personalized spot at the table. This ties in with the citrus colors running down the center of the table and it adds a really nice fragrance too. Isn't this beautiful? You know by now that Chef Paul does the cooks and I do the looks. So don't forget to tune into Food, Friends, Family with Chef Paul Lilikus 
where he's gonna show you how to create a chic plated dinner. Every Tuesday, Paul will whip up some amazing recipes for friends and family, and I'll show you how to style a table to serve it. It couldn't get easier than that. You know when you walk into a restaurant or a special event like a wedding and you're in awe of how pretty the table is? Well, your guests are gonna feel exactly the same way when they pull up a chair to this. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to see more. I hope this episode of Tablescapes leaves you feeling inspired. See you next time.